So welcome to the 1773 Nano setup guide. Here's the Nano in the video and this has four connections HDSDI or HDMI. We have at the top the SD or composite video input then on the left you have the Ethernet and below that you have the power. So those are the four main connections. As I say, the HDSDI on the right can be replaced with HDMI and in future a quad SD module. So the first thing we do is open up two applications, Neptune Player and Neptune Guard, which are supplied by us. Uh, move Neptune Player out of the way. It's going to be instead of VLC Player. Neptune Player is a low latency player. So in Neptune Guard, you can effectively find the IP address of the module and update its firmware. So we upgrade the firmware by selecting the folder in which the firmware is held and then clicking update, which I won't do. We can also reboot the device here or we can factory default it. So let's go back to the board and this gives you the IP address and firmware revision and also a web interface. So if we move that down here. First thing we need to do is check the settings. So we go to settings, system, and now check that CSI1 is set to TW9910 and CSI2 is set to HDSDI or HDMI if you have an HDMI module. Then in RTSP server, we need to make sure that's on and we need to give it a port, which we use 554 as standard, but could be anything. So those are the four things you need to make sure are set from factory default. Save it, and then look at the information button, and that will tell you if the video sources are connected and locked. So here you can see SD1 is locked, at standard definition, and then HD2 in this case is also locked and that's our HDSDI input. So as long as that's locked we're good to go. Now we can set up streaming. We'll start with MUX1. Let's turn that off. MUX1 we're going to select HD2, MPEG-TS and here we need to put the computer's IP address because we're going to unicast to a computer so to do that we open up open up a window that allows us to do the IP config to check the IP address of the computer that we're using which is 165 so we're going to put this IP address in the settings so that goes in here and we save that so that's unicast MPEG TS and obviously a port number Oops, modules come away. Just stick that back. Okay, so that's MUX1 set up. Now if we go back, we can set up MUX2. This time we'll use SD1, transport stream. But this time we're going to do multicast. So we're going to use a multicast IP address. And a port number 1235 in this case. So that's all saved. And we just check the information page. You're using SD1 because that's the one that's locked. So save that, go back, and now we can set up MUX3. We're going to set up an RTSP stream here. The checkboxes at the top will basically allow you to auto start a stream. So in this case, we just select protocol RTSP and save it. Then the same for MUX4. Select the video source, select RTSP and save it. Remember we set 554 as the port in the previous session. So two MPEG TS streams and two RTSP streams. So we're just going to this one has decided to be a, a multicast RTSP stream, which is fine. Um, we won't bother using that one for now. I can't edit that at the moment. All right, let's just leave that as RTSP. And we'll come back to that later. So save that and then go back to the home button. And then the 
fourth one has also been set up as an RTSP um, this time with unicast and different video source so now we open Neptune player up select MPEG transport stream unicast and here we use port 1234 which is the MUX1 port as you can see start MUX1 by clicking the green triangle so it goes red and now you're streaming and you can see on Neptune player that we're actually streaming So here we go, we're going to set up network stream multicast this time, 227, different port, 1235, that's MUX2, start MUX2, and again, you'll get your video. Now you can stream MUX1 and MUX2 simultaneously because they're using two different video sources. So now we're going to try RTSP, for that I'm going to use VLC just for a change, to show you how to do that in VLC. So you open up the network stream and we have to put the IP address of the board, which in this case is 30. Port is 554. So I'm just going to delete that and put code on 554. And then slash mux1, mux2, mux3 or mux4.sdp, depending on which mux you're using. In this case we're using mux3. So we click play. And there you go, you've got video coming in. So I don't know why it's saying multicast next to it, but it's not multicasting, it's unicasting. It appears to be a slight error, which I will look into. But that's it. That's how you set up um, MPEG Transport Stream. And